Hey, let's explore the Earth by TinyBop. We're going to take a peek at the systems that impact the way our planet is formed. Let's tap the icon to begin. If you've played a TinyBop app before, you'll recognize this screen. To get started, tap the square icon, choose your character, pick a color, and you can even add your name if you wish, or make up a new one. So from this screen, we're going to tap that icon that we just created to begin playing. You'll land on a view of the Earth as it looks today. You can pan through using the timeline on the top to see how the continents and plates have shifted over millions and billions of years. We can also see what's happened underneath the Earth's surface to the core and mantle and crust. But to take a look at the systems that have impacted the way our Earth looks, we're going to tap the turn key on the, on the left side and then tap this gray icon. We'll be taken to the surface of the Earth. Now to begin exploring, there's two different ways you can do it. You can tap the turn key and you'll see a menu appear of all the different systems to explore. We have coastal erosion, we have frost wedging, we have earthquakes. But to know a little bit more about what's going on, I'm actually going to tap the label, which is at the top of this toolbar. And then I think I'll choose the underwater volcano. So now I can see what's going on and what each part of the system is called. I'm going to experiment by tapping the magma. Okay, so when the magma comes out of the volcano, it turns into lava and gas. And I'm thinking that since this is an underwater volcano, the water must have cooled that lava and made our volcano just a little bit bigger. Yeah, so I'm actually going to pan out now and see what this volcano looks like in the main scene. I'm going to tap this circle in the top right corner. So it does look like I've created a small little island right here. I still have my underwater volcano there, so I could keep on building it if I want. But I'm actually going to start panning around to see what's going on in other parts of the world. You can see these cutaways, which reveals what's going on just below the Earth's surface, the different layers of the Earth. And these circles right here that look like they're magnifying something are actually the other systems to explore. Uh, they're highlighting the same thing that the menu in the toolbar is highlighting. So I can pin around. Let's choose one more to explore. Let's try the earthquake. So I'm going to tap this circle. And I can see there's a fault line. We've got the Earth's crust. And what happens when I tap the screen? The Earth starts to shift and shake. Now, in some of these close-ups, you can also choose different types of earthquakes or different types of volcanoes to explore. So, on the right-hand side, I'm going to tap this menu again. You can see now I have a reverse fault, and at the top, the first one. Looks like that. 
Okay, so if you have any questions at all, you can also explore the Earth's Handbook, which can be visible from the Parents Dashboard. So I tap that turnkey again, and in the top left, I'll hit the Home button. And you'll see in this bottom left corner, I can tap Dashboard. There I can manage accounts, I can see the handbooks, and I can access other information about TinyBop apps. So there you have it. Have fun exploring, and if you have any questions, definitely tweet at us at TinyBop or send a question to support at tinybop.com. Have fun!